Welcome to the Mantis Compact Compost Tumbler Assembly Video. Your tumbler will come packaged with all the necessary parts and hardware. All you'll need to provide are a 3 8 inch wrench, a 7 16 inch wrench, a 9 16 inch wrench, adjustable wrenches, regular or needle nose pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver, a regular flathead screwdriver. Start by assembling the drum body. Place the two blank drum panels with their flanges next to each other. Fasten them together with the number 10 bolts, flat washers, lock washers and nuts. Place the end cap with the lettering facing down. Fit the two panels into the end cap with the center fins positioned in the slot near the screen. Carefully fit the door panel into the last open space of the end cap to complete the drum cylinder. Align the holes and fasten the panels together with the gold shoulder bolts number 10 flat washers, lock washers and nuts. Now position the other end cap onto the drum assembly, noting that the screens are on opposite sides of the center fins. Thread an acorn nut onto one end of a tie rod with two turns. Insert the other end of the rod into the end cap hole near the screen and through the other end cap. Thread another acorn nut onto that rod. Repeat these steps for the other two rods and tighten them. Now for the aerator door panel. Insert the 1 quarter inch by 3 and a quarter inch bolt through the aerator base and position them into the recess on the inside of the aerator panel. Position the aerator base, smooth side inward, over the bolt and into the recess on the outside of the aerator panel. Thread the wing nut onto the end of the bolt until hand tight. Be careful not to over tighten. Repeat this for the second aerator. Next, attach the latches to one side of the door opening with the hooks toward the opening using the number 10 bolts, flat washers, lock washers and nuts. Attach the latch hooks on the other side of the door opening with the hook end toward the opening using the same number 10 fasteners. Drive gear and frame assembly. Slide the grip onto the end of the drive handle. Push the stem of the grip cap into the end of the handle, aligning the holes and secure it with the number 6 screw until snug.
push the drive gear through the tube of the drive support with the gear on the inside. Insert the handle through the gear and secure it with the cotter pin. Using pliers to bend the pin leg. Guide the drive gear into the gear recess of one end cap. From inside the drum, insert a stub axle into the hole of the end cap while fitting the drive support into the channel. Position a frame leg into the drive support until the holes align. Fasten them together using the 3 8 inch by 4 inch bolt, fender washer and lock nut. Repeat this for the other end. Next, position the flattened face of a strut against the outside of the drive assembly and secure it with a 1 quarter inch by 1 and a half inch bolt and 1 quarter inch lock washer and nut. Note that the two holes of the strut that are closest together are to be toward the bottom. Repeat this for the other strut. Using the same fasteners, push a bolt through the end of the frame leg and position the strut onto the bolt. Do the same for the other side. Next, place one brace onto the bolts and fasten them with the lock washers and nuts. Attach the second brace to the first brace with the 1 quarter by 3 quarter inch bolt, lock washer and nut. Then secure the end of that brace to the middle holes of the struts. Now tighten the nuts and bolts. Finally, attach the door by fitting the slots of one side onto the latch hooks. Then close the door and fasten the latches into the slots of the other side. Your compost tumbler is now completely assembled and ready to use. Read your operating instructions manual how to make superior compost carefully before starting your first batch of compost.